Hey there, it's Simon Dadia, and we're going to talk about the new proxy service. About 25 of us have all been piloting for the last two months, and I have to say they, they are the cleanest proxies I've ever used, and, and I cannot recommend them highly enough. I'm sure anyone you ask in the group will say the same thing. I mean, after two months so far, as far as I know, everyone's happy. They are not perfect for everyone. For example, if you're a heavy SEO autopilot user or you use heavy, you're a heavy user of link building tools, um, those are serious bandwidth hogs and they're going to finish up your, your 10 gigabyte allocation in about three to four days max if you're running those tools 24 hours a day. Um, but tools like Scrapebooks are fine because they download very little data. So, for example, a, a couple of hundred megabyte is roughly a million lines or so so uh, they're really not that bad and super super fast because um, of the amount of ips you get access to in the pool um, and, and that's why this service is so different than every other proxy service i've ever used first of all like i said they're the cleanest um, at times they're not the fastest. They do every now and again get a little bit laggy. Um, but 95% of the time, 90 to 95% of the time, they're super fast. They're perfect. I get no complaints whatsoever. Um, you can have your either your own, and this is using the same service. You can have either your own sticky IP um, or your, or you can have a new IP every HTTP request. So you don't need two different subscriptions they're exactly you can use them for both and there's a little bit of a i don't want to say learning curve it's just works a little bit differently and the reason it works a little bit differently is because i've never ever seen anyone that using the same system without having multiple subscriptions can you have both sticky like a like a de like a dedicated or a rather more of a semi-dedicated ip um, that doesn't change or have a completely new H I IP address every HTTP request, which is great for all sorts of things I'm sure you can imagine, you know, but the biggest difference is that they w it works on bandwidth. So we're getting everything here at a, at a sort of a telco level, right, above all of the kind of resellers here, totally above all the resellers. You're, you're getting access to the full pool of residential IPs. It's about a half a million that are live at all times and it's constantly getting refreshed with new IPs the whole time. And you get access to all of those IP. It's just about the bandwidth. So what we're talking about in this case is everyone has been allocated 10 gigabyte bandwidth. And that's way more than enough so far from what I've seen from everyone and we're gonna and I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you that in just a moment. Um, but you know what? I mean, 10 gigabyte. It sounds like it sounds like it's not a lot, but let's just look. Let's just look. You'll see the system, and you can see what everyone has been using. So, if we scroll to the bottom, we're going to get an overview of what everyone has here. So, if you can, if you could see, this is me. I've been using it the most, and I've been doing a lot, a lot, a lot of um, crowd searching with videos this month. Lots and lots and lots of video crowd searching, and I've used half. Of my allocation and if you look at everyone else here this guy look one gig 1.1 under a gig under a gig under a gig everyone's using way under a gig so far right I'm like I'm really using the most because I guess I guess people aren't getting into it yet people aren't doing as much surfing crowd searching whatever you like to call it um, using these IPs and they are again perfect for for everything, um, except for those link building tools. You've got to stay away from those link building tools with this software because, like I said, they are serious bandwidth hogs. So um, the way that it works, again, is you get allocated bandwidth and you get access to the entire pool of proxies. They're 100% residential unless you go to the uh, third world countries and here I'll show you that you get access to a link as well. For some reason there's no style on it today, but it'll show you how many servers you have um, access in order for you to pull dedicated. These are your dedicated IPs, right? The what's or semi-dedicated rather. This is what you use to go and see how many servers are available in the different countries every day. So US has got 206 servers today and I'll explain, you'll get an email explaining ex exactly what this means and how to use this. But I'm showing you these are the countries that you can use this for. So this is worldwide, right? Ireland, Denmark, Russia, Austria, Sweden, 
Switzerland, Madagascar even. Got a couple of servers in Madagascar, Spain, Portugal, France, Saudi Arabia, Iraq, Australia, Poland. And, 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 and these ones with just one, there really isn't a lot of um, huge variations there. But this is just for the dedicated. So you get access to using these. And these are also... These are also, they're semi-dedicated and they change. So they have a smart switching system where they change them out so that they don't get um, overused, especially if people are using them on certain websites. They don't allow more than one user at the same time. Very intelligent stuff. And as I said, I'm super happy, completely, and I absolutely love these IPs. And um, if you want to jump in right now, the way that I'm working it is that you have to send me an email. Um, and just let me know that you want to get involved in this and then I'll get back to you. So what I'm going to do, because this is, this is obviously this video is going to be on YouTube and it's going to be out there. I don't want to just stick my email in there. I don't want to put my email and say, everyone just email me from here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just create a special form and you're just going to go ahead and fill that out. Um, put your name and your email in there and I'll go ahead and reply to you. Once you've sent that, obviously it's going to be, it'll, it'll, basically you're going to be opting into a list. I need you to put your name and your email there. That's the best way to do it. Otherwise, I don't know how else it's going to work. Otherwise, people are just going to be sending me emails all day long. It'll get way too unorganized. So, so the best way to do this, the best way to do this, the best way to get started is if you just put your name and email into the field below wherever you're going to see it whatever page you're on if you're on youtube there'll probably be a link below click that it'll go to the page that that i'm talking about and there'll be a name uh, a, a, an opt-in box there where you can put your name and your email address and i will email you back as soon as we have the maximum amount of people to go ahead and get this allocated like i said right now we've got 20 people i believe and or even just over 20 people we're only looking for a few more but i know that once people see this everyone's going to want to get involved so that's why i'm making the video that's why i'm finally putting this up because up until now it's just been little conversations we're having in the skype group in the mastermind and a post here and there in the group so go ahead click the link below and um Put your name and email on that on that on the list, and as soon as it's ready, as soon as we have um, the right amount of people to go, you'll get an email where you can go ahead and sign up. Okay. Um, any questions? Let me know.